Okay, we just got to the Airbnb. I will show you everything. But how cool is this, yeah? Got like a little balcony. And then, you're up here. They've got a little kitchen area. And yeah, there's Punchell. And they have Uber Eats here, so we, we just ordered a pizza. We could eat, we might as well eat way up here. Yeah, up here. When they come. That's alright, it's not bad to wake up to that, is it? Okay, it's another day. We're about to go to a catamaran. And what, what are we going to do, sorry, babe? Watch whales and dolphins. Pray for me. Pray for Bex. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we say pray for you, when, by the time the video comes out, we'll have already done the catamaran. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting a bit anxious about uh, getting get, seasick. I get seasick, so... But I told her, we're, let's just believe in faith. Everything's going to be okay. Not completely against medication, but I like to trust God for health. And um, I'm trying to encourage Rebecca as well. Let's just rely on God, not on medication. Honestly, it comes to this country, it's nice. It's a little bit more expensive than some places, but it's worth it. But it's been an amazing time since the last day. Stay blessed. Oh, no! I should have filmed you sleeping in the room. I wasn't. She was asleep. She's got these big whales to watch and she's asleep. <laughs> What's she doing? Hey, come and look over here. Look big whales over there. The whales are right in the distance. Fish. This fish. Might as well get your money, sir. Right? right in the distance, over there. Okay, you can get this tour with uh, getyourguide.com. I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, this, I don't know what you think, Rebecca, but I think this was one of the best things we did. And it was only £52 for both of us. £51 for both of us. Three hour tour, it's good. You get to see whales, dolphins. Yeah, it's a good one. You get to go on a boat as well. When we're heading back now. No, no. 
Ah bah, 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 loin which is uh, smoked and dehydrated then you have the sausage that we make with tuna and ginger this one over here this one is the sea brim with red pepper and here you have grouper with squid ink okay here you have a little bit of um, onion chutney oh, okay. of onion that we do and the soy mayonnaise as well oh, cool. yeah I tried the sea bass with the, I think you have to have it with a bit of mayonnaise Quite smoked. Mm. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah. Selection of fish and this is actually sourdough just bread. Fish and bread. It's not really like a meal. With olives and seaweed butter. Well, the seaweed butter is good. This bread is really good though. That's my favourite thing. Can't go wrong. Bit of garlic butter. The bread. Sourdough bread. Sourdough bread. Mm. Let's go. We'll come back once we finish eating. Yeah. Okay, now we're eating bits of beans. Didn't realize a small portion is going to be this small, but let's see how we get on. I can always have more food. Yeah. How is it so far? Yeah, it's nice. If you're, into, if you're into fish, then this is the right thing for you. If you're not keen on fish, like you find it a bit fishy. Then we both like this. Maybe a medium more than it is. It's the best way to go. Right, guys, so we've um I had a nice meal. One thing I just want to say, like Portuguese people are very friendly, man. They're always very helpful. It's what I noticed last time when I was in Lisbon, like four years ago. Mm -hmm. Three years ago. Um, yeah, it's just nice, man. We're going to go to the cable cars now. You looking forward to that, babes? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, after the cruise, I just want after to the take cruise. Easy. After the cruise and going up a mountain, and going up a flipping, not a mountain, uh, <laughs> what would a you hike. call that? A hike up at like huge mountains. I think you could do anything. <laughs> let's go some, oh. let's go on some jet skis. No. <laughs> one thing I will say, just get one negative out of the way. Funchal, well in Madeira in general, it's not the best place for beaches. Apparently there's only one proper beach on the whole island. We did see a black sand beach but there's a yeah. tiny bit of sand. There's one beach with um, sand on it. All the others have stones. Yeah, so the, most of them are just so like this. Yeah, don't, don't come here if you want beach holidays. Because you get these, these get really hot. Those stones get hot and then they're hard to walk on, so. Yeah. 
If you're on a beach holiday, you're probably better going to Spain or something. Yeah, or Spain or inner Portugal. Inner Portugal. I like that. Really hot. That was quite cool. Mm. I mean, it's nice to see. We're doing coffee. We're all coffee. Yes, yes, yes. Get out quick. Decision. No, but I'm just saying, like, me personally, I wouldn't pay for this. No, I know. It's up to you. You pay for the wise. I'm wise. Right, I've got so a video on my phone, so I was like, why do I need to? Grazie. So, how do we get back down there? No, we don't. We're back on the cable car. Huh? On the cable car. Oh, we have to go back down to the cable car? Yeah, but we might as well see some stuff on there. Oh. The last one's at 5.45. Oh, the last one's at... 5.45. I see these people now. They're going down on like a... It's not a sled. All the way down. To the bottom. It's, a mass, it's really popular. It's a massive queue for it. It's a queue. Oh, look, it's quite fun. Oh, they actually, no, they actually, they actually landed like a fish. Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's so funny, man. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. Okay, so Ricardo, Ricardo just told me that uh, they've been doing this for a hundred years. And I think There's a whole team. Yeah. Big business. So if you get 30 euros per pop. This is legging on the road with our ice. Yeah. Let's so go. Road, road skiing on ice. Let's go to it, man. Oh yeah, this is uh, some guy. I think he's got Archduke Charles. Oh, Charles. He's he's a Charles. Maybe you related. I don't want to be related to some dead man. Forget what, forget me. Why are you doing the Catholic? <laughs> Just because you're in a Catholic church, you don't have to do that. These churches need some more life, man. Didn't they? I think they need some praise and worship. I think the people. When the Lord is good. I went to a Catholic secondary school, and this is very familiar. You have to sit down and reflect. 
pray to Jesus and Hail Mary. As well. Wait, is that stuff biblical? We won't comment now. No, we, if there is any Catholics out there, we do love you. But we want, regardless of whatever your belief is, we want you to know the truth. But you need a relationship with Jesus, not religion, a relationship with Jesus.